Hello, my, my name's Sue Breeze and today I'm going to show you how to use a new scrapbook or outline effect in DSLR Remote Pro 319. You can create the same effect using either AI background removal or green screen. I'm going to use background removal. I've already set up a single photo event which has a sharing screen and I've added a print background to the photo booth images folder. We're going to take a quick look at the print layout before we start. You can see here that I've got a square photo and a blue and orange background. When we apply background removal to this photo, the background of it will be removed, everything except the person. So what you'll see through it is my blue and orange background. I've moved my picture right down to the bottom of the image, like that so that I don't get an odd effect below the photo. In fact, sometimes it's worth going just slightly below that to make sure you don't get a tiny line at the bottom. Okay, that's done. The next thing to do is to switch on AI background removal. And to do that, what you need to do is click on File, and then down near the bottom of the drop-down list, you'll find Run AI Background Removal Tool. Click on that. You can choose the size of image. I'm doing testing here and I don't want to waste money in my background removal account so I'm using the very smallest image size because the company I use charge less for this than they do for bigger images. Um, make sure you check only remove background removal when photo booth is running and then set up DSLR Remote Pro. So to switch background removal on and off it's yes for switching it on if you want to switch it off, you go no. So here we are. Background removal is now running. OK. Here you go. And after you've finished, go back to this screen and switch the background removal off. Right, the next thing I want to do is add my outline. To do that, you start the photo booth. I've got the simulated camera on now. And on the ready screen, you want to hold down the control key on the keyboard and press G. Just ignore this error message. It's about green screen, not about background removal. OK, this is the bit we're interested in here. You want to make sure that add outline sticker effect is checked. You can adjust the width of the outline. I'm going for 15 because I like a nice, quite broad outline. And you can change the colour. So the conventional outline stickers just have white. Um, in my case, I want to use the precise shade of orange that I've got on the print layout. So I'm going into Define Custom Colours and I'm setting my values for red. and green and orange. That's just what I want, perfect. Okay, and I'm done in here. Right, now let's start. So I want to switch on my camera. I have to say I'm doing this not to show you the quality of the image. Um, I'm doing it to um, show you the technique. So I've got no lighting, um, a grotty background, which is actually quite good for demonstrating background removal. So let's start the booth. This was actually my welcome screen. OK, here we are. So we just press start. It's taking my photo. And there we go. I'm gone straight to the sharing screen. Now you can see here there's a slightly odd effect at the bottom of the picture. So I'm going to go back into the print layout editor and try and remove that. Just going to try and push this picture down a bit and see if that helps. And try again.
There we go, that's better. Lovely. Okay, now then, those of you who've never used um, DSLR Remote Pro or maybe haven't used some of the features in this video, I'm just going to show you very quickly where to find some help with them. So if you go to the breezesys.com website, www.breezesys.com, and then click on Tutorials, you'll find tutorials for every product. Um, go to Booth DSLR plus Windows, which is also DSLR Remote Pro, and start that. Very first tutorial, the welcome one, explains how to use the Photobooth setup wizard, which will create a working event for you. The next one explains how to use the print layout editor. And the next three cover emails. If you haven't used background removal before, page down this list quite a way and you'll find two tutorials about background removal. One is a general introduction to what background removal is and the other one explains how to use background removal with DSLR Remote Pro. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Before you finish, let's remember to switch off the background removal. So if I just go back to DSLR Remote Pro, Go down to here. And switch it off. Thank you very much.